to Brilliant Maths. This is a place where we teach maths passionately to students of all levels to help them understand and make progress in their math skills. BrilliantMaths.com is a learning platform where you have lots and lots of exciting exercises in maths. Go there and try it out. Today we are going to continue our lessons on fractions. Problem solving involving fractions. Two step problem solving. But before we continue with that, let's look at the answers to the last exercise we did the last time. Question one. From a cloth measuring four one quarter meters, a tailor cut off a piece which measured two five over eight meters. What length of cloth was left? The operation is subtraction and the length of cloth left, which is the answer, is one whole number, 5 over 8. Question 2. What must be added to 3 to 5 to make 6 1 quarter? What must be added to 3 to 5 to make 6 1 quarter? The operation is take away. You are taking away 3 to 5 from 6 1 quarter. And the answer is Two whole number, 17 over 20. Question 3. What is 2 to 5 times greater than 3 one third? The answer is 8. The operation is multiplication. You multiply 2 to 5 by 3 one third and your answer is 8. Well done. Today we'll be looking at problem solving involving fractions. Most of our questions will involve two steps before you arrive at the final answer. Example one, Sam ate one eighth of his birthday cake, gave two fifths to his friends, and left the rest for his family. What fraction of the cake was left for his family? We read the question again. Sam ate one eighth of his birthday cake, gave to fifth to his friends and left the rest for his family what fraction of the cake was left for his family it involves two steps first sam ate one eight and then he gave to fifth to his friends so the first step is to find the sum of what sam ate and what he gave to his friends. So we say 1 8 plus 2 fifths. We've already learned how to add fractions, so let's quickly do that. The LCM of 8 and 5 is 40. 8 and 40 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 5 and 40 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So we add 5 and 16 together, 6 plus 5 is 11, we carry a 1, and that gives us 21 over 40. That's the first step. In this first step, we have found the fraction of the cake that Sam and his friends ate. We now want to find the fraction that was left for his family. The whole cake is represented by one whole. So step 2 is one whole take away the fraction that has already been eaten, 21 over 40. We learned how to subtract fractions from 1 at the onset. We can do this mentally by simply subtracting 21 from 40, and that will give us the fraction that is left. But another way is to change your one whole to 40 out of 40. 40 out of 40 is equal to 1 whole. Take away 21 over 40. The denominators are the same. So, we we'll write the sum over 40. 40 take away 21. If you take 1 from 0, it's impossible. So, we we'll borrow 1 from the 4 and that becomes 10. 10 take away 1 is a 9, and then we're left with 3 here. 3 take away 2 is a 1. So our answer is 19 over 40. So the fraction of cake left for his family is 19 
over 40. Example 2. A carpenter requires 516 meters of wood to make furniture. He buys 1 to 3rd meters first and later buys 2 1 quarter meters of wood. How many meters of wood does he still need to buy? Let's read the question again. Make it a habit to read any question you have at least twice. It helps you understand what exactly you're supposed to do. A carpenter requires 516 meters of wood to make furniture. He buys 1 to 3rd meters first and later buys 2 1 quarter meters of wood. How many meters of wood does he still need to buy? The first step in this question is to find out how many meters of wood he has bought already before you can find out how many more he needs to make up the 516 meters that he needs to make the furniture. So first step, you add 1 to 3rd meters, which is what he bought first, to 2 1 quarter meters to get what he's bought already. 1 plus 2 is 3. Remember we've learned how to add mixed numbers. We add the whole number part first. 1 plus 2 gives us 3. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. 3 into 12 gives us 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 4 into 12 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So our answer is 3 whole number, 11 over 12 meters. That means the carpenter has bought 3 11 12 meters of wood already. But he needs a total of 5 1 6 meters. So we need to know how many meters he needs to buy to get enough to make his furniture. So the second step, step two, is to subtract 3 11 over 12 from 5 1 6. So step two, 5 1 6 meters, take away 3 11 over 12 meters. Here we're subtracting these numbers. So 5 take away 3 is 2. The LCM of the denominators, 6 and 12, is 12. How many 6s do we have in 12? We have 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Take away. 12 in 12 is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. We learned how to subtract these kind of mixed numbers. Where you have 2, take away 11. 2 is smaller than 11. So we're going to borrow 1 from the 2 holes and that 1 we borrow has the same value as the denominator. It's equal to 12 over 12. So if we borrow 1 from 2, we have 1 left. The 1 we borrow has a value of 12 over 12. We add the 12 to the 2 plus 2 before we take away 11. 12 plus 2 is 14, and 14 take away 11 is 3. So our answer is one whole number, 3 over 12 meters, which is the same as 1. We have 4 threes in 12. So 3 over 12 is the same thing as 1 quarter. 1, 1 quarter meters. So the carpenter needs to buy one one quarter meters of wood to get enough wood to make his furniture. Example three. After reading three quarters of the pages of a book, Mary still had 43 pages to read. How many pages were in the book all together? Like I said the other time, make it a habit to read your questions at least two times. After reading three quarters of the pages of a book, Mary still had 43 pages to read. 
how many pages were in the book all together. The question implies that Mary has read three quarters of a book and she still had 43 pages to read. If she has read three quarters, that means that one quarter is yet to be read. Because if you make the whole book one whole, one minus three quarters will give us one quarter. So she's read three quarters and she's left with a quarter to read. But that one quarter is equal to 43 pages. So we're very easy to find out the total number of pages in the book. It's also a two-step problem. So the first step, step one, is to take away three quarters from one whole. One minus three quarters. And we are supposed to do this mentally. One minus three quarters is equal to one quarter. Then the question goes to say that one quarter is actually equal to 43. So a quarter of the number of pages in the book is equal to 43. One quarter of pages is equal to 43 pages. So that means one quarter of the pages in the book is equal to 43 pages. One quarter is one part out of four. So the whole book, which will be four parts out of four, is 43 times four. Therefore, four out of four is equal to 43 pages times four. Four times three is 12, carry one. Four times four is 16 plus one, which is 17. So the book has a total of 172 pages. So four out of four, which is the total number of pages in the book, is equal to 43 pages times four which will give us 172 pages. And that's the answer. The book originally has 172 pages. And Mary has read three quarters and has 43 pages left. Having learned how to interpret and solve two-step problems involving fractions, let's try out these questions. Question one, at a youth club, Two-fifths of those present were playing darts and one quarter were playing other games. A. What fraction were playing games? B. What fraction were not playing games? Question 2. Peter had 91 pounds. He spent three-sevenths of it on a sports bag. How much money had he left? Question 3. A farmer sold five ninths of his cattle and had 48 cattle left. How many cattle had he at first? Question 4. Six of 11 of the children in his school are girls. If 235 boys attend the school, how many children are in the school altogether? These are all two-step problems. My name is Ngozi Arevogine. Continue to follow me on this channel. Keep watching. Go to the blog brilliantmaths.com. There are lots and lots of exciting exercises there for you to do. And always remember, maths is fun and you can do it.